Turn Today's video has been highly requested, and you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about this refrigerator. I got a new refrigerator when we move in here, but today I'm gonna be showing you guys how it looks from the inside, and it has been one of the most highly requested. So come with me. Let's open the refrigerator and see what's in there. If it's tidy, organized, or if there's food in there, I don't know. So I'm gonna go open this refrigerator. Welcome to my refrigerator. I'm gonna be showing you whatever is in here and let's get started. You guys been asking for so long, so I feel like I have to give you some teas in here. We got a lot of stuff in here, so let's get going. <laughs> So first, this is how the refrigerator looks like. It is fully stocked, there's food, and we are a family of three that lives in this house. And this is a groceries that are, I haven't been grocery shopping for like a month since we got back from vacation. I've been had a fully grocery shop, but this is how it looks after a month without grocery shopping. So we have everything in here. And I have a spare refrigerator in the garage. So first we have here some Fanta and Sprite. I love it so much. I drink soda, but I make sure I drink healthy too. So I have here some yoga for baby Johnny. This is a game changer if you have a toddler and the toddler is obsessed with smoothies. I make smoothies on a daily basis for Johnny, but this is still good and i have here some eggs and this egg drawer is one of my favorite because it opens like you can take one it works very beautiful i love it this is the first part we don't have a filter because i'm still looking for a filter for this refrigerator and it seems like a lot of work to find so this is the top part. We got eggs, yogurt, and water. This is bowl and basket water. Normally, I like whatever the name it, something spring, but this does work as well. Now it is like six dollars a bottle, and this is three, four, fourteen dollars or fifteen. No, not even three, four, like eleven dollars. So it is a pretty good deal. <laughs> And when you come to this section, normally when I cook, this is where I have like leftovers and stuff in here. But since we went grocery shopping today, so we got some nice produce. I have a, a huge ribeye steak with a bone in, which I defrosted it. And I have here some lamb leg that I got. I really went to Aldi for all this grocery shopping. And you won't believe how much just the... Uh, the price was it was very good normally if i go to my regular shop i'm gonna spend like over 400 dollars for all this stuff but i spent quite a deal so i have here some lamb legs and i have here two packs up it's actually four packs of ribeye steak it's one of our favorite so i like ribeye a lot and don't forget to always have baking soda in your fridge it get rid of any order and i have it in here just sticking it all the way in the back so you don't have to smell it uh, whatever is in the fridge because a lot of mixed smell and this is a chicken thigh with the leg all together the quartered leg so it was pretty good deal 547 we use it for a bunch of stuff and this is our lunch that we got today if you were on our live stream John didn't eat his mac and cheese, so we brought it home. And I have here some leftover food that I still eat in. I still here cut up cucumber because John likes cucumber salad. And I have something back here, like condensed milk covered, but not totally like lemon juice that I always use. And this is pickled. Actually, it's cucumber that I put in there. This smaller cucumber, I kind of, I'm going to pickle it myself inside the pickle juice because we're done without pickles, but we still have pickles. And this is my skincare, banana, coffee, and rice flour mixed together. Perfect for skincare. I just started using it, so that's why it's in the refrigerator. So 
This is the second shelf. And the third shelf consists of a lot of mumbo jumbo stuff. You guys call for this. And since I went grocery shopping, we have different kinds of fruit in here. The light went off, but we still got to make it work. So I have here some peaches. Let's get the light back. Once you shut the refrigerator and open it back, we're going to have light for a while. So. The light is back and we have here back here some red grapes, green grapes, some cherries, they look very good, and some peaches that I just got today. And we got blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, and more blueberry. And banana, this banana is looking more ripe so it has to be in the refrigerator because fruit flies are killing me. And back here, I just got this new Italian dressing, so I wasn't sure. So I got both to just make sure I'm getting the right thing. So I got the green and the pink. So whatever we like, this is a new try, but it is Italian dressing. Every Italian dressing tastes amazing. And I have here some homemade, home style lemonade from Aldi. And I have some orange juice back here. And one of my all-time favorite passion fruit. But this is from Bull and, ba Bull, Bull and Basket. Yeah, passion fruit. I don't know. And this is Juicy Juice for Baby Johnny. He drinks either grapes or apple juice. And I have here some mixed legendary drink. Pineapple, orange, guava. Very amazing, refreshing. It tastes really good. Whilst we're doing this and we're putting everything back together and I have something back here which is like a coffee made sweetener. I use it in my cereal, anything that has to do with milk. So and I have heavy cream here and another bowl and basket heavy cream and we have some jam preserved and we have here some good Roth foundation. Um, beetroot juice. This is liver cleanser. It's very good for you. Go watch my video about cleansing your body with beetroot. So, this is another homemade beetroot juice that I made. So, make sure you go check it out and cleanse your body. And this is extra creamy whipping cream. And this is the regular one, the original one. I have a ton of stuff in my refrigerator. So, this is the first three layers of the refrigerator and we're gonna put this on here and when you come to this side we have all the cheese let me see we have american cheese okay john just grab his cheese sticks and we have here some cheese what of it what is it this is like a bunch of cheese together for pizza and this is my Parmesan. I love Parmesan. This brand is the best brand you can buy for yourself. Crafts are the best. And we have here smaller <laughs> crafts again. These are mostly for mac and cheese, the American cheese. I use it for mac and cheese a lot. And you gotta make sure everything is organized. And here I always leave it for like stuff that we use convenient. This is our um, milk and this is almost done. This is Hershey's syrup, chocolate syrup, and strawberry syrup. And we have here some caramel. And when you come down here, we have a test of, we got some mayonnaise, garlic minced, and ketchup. Maybe most of the stuff I'm gonna tag it on the video. It's gonna be a lot of stuff, so you have to go through it like a grocery store. And I have this great value medium wing sauce, but whew, it is hot. If you're not too good with sauce, hot sauce, get, I don't know, is there mild? Maybe get mild instead of medium. This is crazy. It's more than the hot stuff. We have your bowl and basket cocktail sauce for our shrimps. And we have here some spicy brown mustard. And this is when I was joined onto the, whatever it is called, the food something that they bring to you. It's the cat food or something. This is for taco. They added it up, so this side of the refrigerator is done. This is too much work you guys got me doing, but when you come onto this side, I normally have yogurt up here, but I don't have yogurt, and I got my Romano cheese. It's just like Parmesan cheese that you just sprinkle on pasta to eat it whilst you have to eat it, and the fridge is on 39 for a night. Oof. 
and this is the very quality from Laboris and best cheese best everything they can get your food italian food if you're italian you want to get all the best and back here we have some snacks these snacks are actually my mother-in-law's favorite i always get it so she can snack on while she's here we got the light off again after every four minutes it goes off so let's try it again <sighs> we haven't even got into the freezer you guys said fridge so i'm just doing the fridge so we have here, I feel like every Italian home should have this basic stuff. We have you some peppuccini inside your salad. It is very good and spicy and it's very, very, very good. And we have you some olives. Bad enough, John couldn't get pitted one, so we have to pit it ourselves, but still good. And since I'm African, I must have something African in here. I have here my homemade black sauce from Ghana, which is Corsito. And this is Great Value Pickle, Dill Pickle. I love it. It's very crunchy and it tastes so amazing. And this is homemade maple syrup from Northwood Hold on our vacation. Where we go on vacation every year, the trees surrounding us actually makes this beautiful maple syrup. So, And down here we have all our Nicknack salad dressing and barbecue sauce. So we have these spicy buffalo baby baby rays spicy buffalo and we have the buffalo sauce barbecue sauce for your barbecue we have two here and we have this ranch creamy dressing and we have another a ranch light parmesan peppercorn ranch dressing and i have here some sour cream actually very good sour cream and the last part about this deal is down here where the fruit and vegetables like vegetables basically we have here a ton of stuff i have here some carrots some zucchini salad bell pepper the green one i didn't get the colorful ones and this is uh a cucumber but i forgot the names of the english cucumber or something cucumber and this is spring onions to keep us going so and the last place is, I have some avocados in here and I have some lemon, I have tomatoes, I have here asparagus and I have here some, uh, what's it called? What's this taste called? I can't even remember this stuff name. This is, uh, I can't remember. Salaries. I was trying to look for the name, so the name is of Salary Steak. I use them all the time, but I don't know. I, I don't remember. And we have here some parsley. Lastly, at the end, and we have some. I think it's sauerkraut down here. I just don't want to dig down to the refrigerator, so that's all I have in my refrigerator. And you guys asked for it. Thank you for watching. It was very fun looking through my refrigerator and seeing how blessed I am and how grateful I am. So this is how my refrigerator look it's fully stocked up we have meat and i bought uh salmon but it's in my other fridge because it couldn't fit in here everything couldn't fit here any extra stuff we put it in our other refrigerator so this is how it looks let me know in the comment section if this is how your fridge looks too we are family of three now that we are in the state but we are family of four but now we are three and my oldest son is in Africa, so this is how our refrigerator looks. So, what do you think? And this is how my freezer looks. We got a bunch of stuff here, but you guys didn't ask for freezer, so we're going to close it. And this is the end. You know, I'm going to go with this first. And that second. And this is our fridge. Whatever. What's in our fridge? I don't even know what it is. Just what's in my fridge? Fridge tour. So, voila. Bye bye. See you, my nigga. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit your notification bell. And don't forget to hit the like button and leave your comment down below for whatever reason it is. This is Frigid I love it. Bye.